Mark or Colbert, Speed of Carry Finish Network. All right, so as you guys know, Weather Winter is upon us. We got this 125,000 BTU propane heater. Got it off of Amazon for 159 bucks. I said, screw it, let's just buy a new tool, try it out. You guys know me from my YouTube page. You guys always see me short wearing shorts. Um, I'm very warm blooded, quite frankly. I could work in this weather, no problem. But there are some days where I'm not moving around as much and I'm not as warm. Usually if I stay moving around a lot, I don't get cold. We got the box open. I guess let's pull it out, see what it looks like. Okay. Just to compare here, this is a 60,000 BTU propane heater, and there's the 125,000. So we'll see what kind of damage this thing can do. And of course, as well, in here, you're going to have, you know, instructions, uh, regulator, you know, just the usual. You know, don't light a cigarette in front of it. You might blow up your shop and all that other good snazzy stuff. All right, so those of you that are new to prepping heaters, regulator goes on the tank side, and then the other line goes to the prepping heater. Then you got your um, fan outlet, so the electrical cord for the fan that pushes the hot air out. And I don't know if this is going to be a good test or not, but I got this Jeep I'm about to start working on and uh, see if it can melt all the snow off of it in an hour or two and uh, dry it off, and we'll see... How she looks. All right, so we've had the heater on. It's doing a relatively good job at heating the shop. It's it's It really does heat up the space very, very fast. Um, some other tricks I'll give you guys as far as getting this thing set up. You want to go ahead and get some pipe sealant. This is a liquid pipe sealant versus like the sealant tape you use for threads. Put it on the end of the heater and then also put it on the end of your propane tank. Guys, this is very crucial for safety. We're talking about an open flame and propane gas. You do not want an explosion, I promise you. This is not what you want in your body shop. Another thing I do is I put the tank in between two very large objects that we, God forbid, if this thing was to explode, it has two large objects to absorb that explosion and hopefully not kill myself. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's doing great. It's heating up the shop really good. Definitely happy with what I paid for it and what, I, what I'm getting out of it. And as you guys can see, it is dripping the water right off the Jeep. It is melting the snow very fast. So really, really, really good tool to heat up your shop. Definitely worth it. Quick review on this tool. Really think it's awesome. Um, this heater does way more damage than that little one over there. Really, especially if you put it on the, the full crank, you know, the three uh, mark on or whatever. My shop is almost 200 foot long. Uh, so it's about 9,000 square feet. So we got that big hole right there, which is letting all this cold air through here. So getting this front hot is never going to happen, but I can get it, you know, to about 50, to I think probably 60 degrees with that heater um, pretty easily. So if you guys got a bigger shop, you know, a couple thousand square feet, you're going to want to get one of these, you know, 80,000, 125,000 BTU. This will definitely make the space that you do have, the larger space you do have, uh, heat up pretty good. Cost per day to run one of these things. Uh, propane right now is anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks to fill a tank. You know, one tank will last you about three full working days, depending on how long your work days are. Depending on how long your work days are, you're going to spend anywhere from five bucks to 10 bucks a day to heat your shop. You know, there's other ways you can heat your shop. You can get a wood burner, but you know if you're buying wood from somebody, it's about five bucks a cord. Uh, you're spending about five bucks a day on wood, so I'm um, not to get on tangent. With heat, you really just gotta pick your poison. Uh, you're either gonna do kerosene, uh, you're gonna do gas, propane, um, or you're gonna do a wood burner, a pellet stove, either which way. All of these methods, they all cost around three to seven, 10 bucks a day to heat your shop. That's gonna wrap it up for this one, for this Amazon Pro Temp Heater. I hope this helps you guys out with your decision making. If you guys are gonna go for propane heater, um, I would, I would get, personally, I really do like this one. This one performs really good. That's gonna wrap it up. Like, subscribe. New videos every week.